Pisces, what's up Pisces? Welcome back, y'all. Thank you guys for watching my channel. She's got the gift. Pisces, I'm back with messages for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest right on where it's at. This is not a personal reading, Pisces. It's a collective. I'm picking up on all Pisces, just not one, okay? So take what's for you and leave the rest. With that being said, if you guys are interested in a personal reading from me, feel free to reach out. Why not? I'm always happy. I'm always here to assist, assist you on your healing journey. I'm here for you, okay? So with that, um... All info on how to get in contact with me will be posted in this video, Pisces, down below in the description box. And also, if you're interested in seeing more content, feel free. I would love to have you over there on Patreon. Um, that'll be listed in this video down below as well. And also, my Amazon wish list. If you would like to see me read from different tarot decks or also oracle decks, I would love to um, accept them from you guys. Okay, so all of the good stuff will be listed in this video down below, Pisces. With no further ado, let's jump into your messages. Spirit, holy angels, I call upon you at this time for Pisces. I need clarity, spirit angels. Allow my third eye to fully activate. Allow me to elaborate clearly on your behalf. I'm thankful for you using me as a vessel. Please continue to protect me, protect Pisces, protect our foundation and our loved ones. Allow no weapon as being formed to come against us, spirit angels, to ever prosper. All that black magic, evil entities, spell work being sent, negative energies being sent our way, return it to sender. Thank you. Let's jump into it. Messages for Pisces, spirit angels. Pisces. Pisces. Mm. Lovers. Okay. Right off the bat, something about your connection. A couple of you guys could be involved with a Gemini. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, isn't that something? A new, a new creative uh, idea. A new, so a new collaboration. A promotion could be on the table. Anything. Uh, you got the Ten of Wands as well. Hmm. A love connection that's hard to maintain. Okay. Um, six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be, you could have been with this person for a long time. Hopefully you guys got a kid by this person. A love connection, an offer is on the table, but you feel like, or this person, you could be offering this person a solid connection here, but they don't want to take it or it's hard. They got a decision. Look at that, that just came out. Two of Wands, the lovers here and the King of Cups. Mm, okay. Show me what's up with the lovers, spirit angels. Insight for the lovers for um uh, insight into this lovers card, spirit angels for the Pisces. Pisces energy. Somebody has a tattoo. Um, it could be their right arm, your right for I don't know what the your arm shit. <laughs> Show me the, the lovers, spirit angels for Pisces. Insight into the lovers. What is this connection about? Insight into this connection. The lovers. Isn't that something? Gemini energy out here strong. The world. Mm, the devil. And a two of cups. This is, even though this is an undeniable connection, Pisces, it's stressful. Uh, somebody has like addictions or somebody is like codependent here. There's like a, a karmic lesson here. There's like a lesson in this connection that needs to be learned before something is done. Show me the world. Give me one on the world. What's the lesson here, spirit angels? Give me one on the world. Insight into the world. Insight, spirit angels. Show me inside. Uh, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Something has ran its course. This connection has, over time, become toxic. It's just something about this connection here, Pisces. If something has ran its course, it's like something is toxic. It's, it's becoming too much. The world here is clarified with the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Cups. You always got to stand your ground with this person, too. Or always got to be combative with this person. Are always got to tell them right from wrong or like always got to be on their back about what is it that they're doing. Uh, this connection stresses you out too. A couple of you guys could be having a headache, but like towards the back is stress. Insight into the lovers here. Somebody's 
some of you guys is just trying to like get back to you get back to loving yourself the world card is clarified here with the queen of pentacles so this is female energy nine of pentacles that's self-sufficient it can do shit on her own and loving herself but it's open and willing to meet a new person this is what the world is clarifying show me the lovers they saying that your connection it over time it's became toxic uh pisces and you could be feeling like you need to escape or trying to get over this or trying to let it go. Insight on the lovers. Ten of swords here, ten of cups. Betrayal. This could have something to do with family too. Show me more. Ooh -wee. Four of cups. So there's a, like a lot of holding back and stagnant, like something is stale, stalemate connection here. Show me more. Are you holding back from this person because of what? What was the portrayal? One on the Ten of Swords? Three of Pentacles, a star, and a Queen of Wands. Yeah, they was fucking with somebody else. Fire sign. Air sign. You got the star here showing up, Aquarius energy. Queen of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here stepped out and sabotaged their whole connection with you. Now you ready to throw the whole shit away. It's toxic anyway. That It was it was karmically set up like this. It was going to happen no, no matter what, Pisces. Give me one on the devil and the two of cups. The tower. Mm. One on the devil and the two of cups. There's somebody, too, uh, doing something to manipulate your person or doing something to manipulate you, Pisces. So keep that in mind. Some things may not be what it seems with a certain person. And you ready to throw the whole connection away and give it up because of somebody manipulating your connection, manipulating your person or manipulating you. That could be that too. So it's 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 a lot of ways you can go about this, but we'll get to see once we get down to the end of the road here with the Ten of Wands. You got 10, 10, 10 out here. Mm. Show me the devil spirit angels. Insight into the devil and the two of cups just feel like it's a bomb ass connection but over time it just grew to be karmic like out of control and the higher fine here in the moon wow show me more still I can't let go it's a natural you belong to me I belong to you uh oh, who not trying to let go? <laughs> Pisces, what the fuck? Is this your energy? Oh, the moon here, page of cups, Pisces energy, death. Yeah. Yeah, either this, either this, this could go one or two ways. Either this connection is going to take a turn for the better or it's going to take a turn for the worse. At the end of it all, somebody here is at their breaking point and they feel like, you know, I'm tired of standing 10 toes down when I could really be doing my own thing. You feel me? And, and like getting loved on and being loved by the right people. But this is female energy. The masculine energy done already stepped out. You got the three of pentacles here clarifying the ten of, ten of swords, the three of pentacles and the queen of wands. They go to the other female right there, Pisces. So I don't know if you sticking with somebody to try to make it work because it's your family. You know, y'all done created a family over time, but at the end of it all, it was karmically meant to, to happen this way. You wouldn't have been able to stop nothing from happening. He wouldn't have been able, or she wouldn't have been able to stop nothing from happening. You got the devil showing up out here with the world and the higher fine. Something has ran its course. And at the end of it, at the end of it all, it seems like the bad is starting to outweigh the good. And when that happens, that means it's time for you to exit okay but you got something new here you got two aces out here the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles new love new, new just new working with somebody overall period just starting over basically but show me the ace of pentacles spirit angels for pisces ace of pentacles for pisces yeah the bad is outweighing the good in this situation here something has ran its course ace of pentacles to the end of the road, still I can't let go. It's unnatural. I keep hearing it, Pisces. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Maybe you need to go listen to that song that keep playing it, but it's so sad. Like, although we come to the end of the road, I still can't let go. It's, <sighs> something is toxic. Something has ran its course, and two people are still trying to hold on, but it, it's ran its course. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles here is clarified with the chariot. A couple of you guys could be getting purchasing a new vehicle. Show me more. Um, but this is definitely moving forward, though. The chariot awaits you. I mean, like, um, the universe is backing up. You're moving forward. You can't make it up. Six of Wands. The universe is backing up. You moving forward, Pisces. Yep. Yep. Show me more. Um, also, you guys have been putting in OT or doing something real, a real good job at something. You're good at something. And I feel like this is a promotion. This is recogni recogni recognition coming your way. Somebody is like patri patronizing you. This could be a cancer. Your boss could be a Capricorn. Your boss could be a cancer. I got these places in a chart. Show me more. I don't want to be a ex. We were too good at being friends. Oh, Pisces. Um, you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. Yeah, this puts you, this puts you on a whole nother tax bracket right here. Whatever this is, this collaboration that's coming through is going to put you on a whole new tax bracket. More money, more time here. Something that you're good at is bringing recognition your way. Mm. Wow, Pisces, Pisces, what you got going on? My ears started, uh, show me more. Dang, somebody here is like, yeah, Six of Pentacles, yeah. Open wide. Not like that, but uh, Six of Pentacles overall is gift from the universe, okay? The universe is bringing in something new and swiping out the old. There it is. Something is at the end of the road for you. And they, they're encouraging you here. The world card is clarified with the Queen of uh, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. They're encouraging you to stand on business. Maybe you was the one that been doing wrong in this situation because it is another female over here. I said, what was, I asked, what is the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords is portrayal. What is the portrayal? The portrayal came out a Queen of Wands here and a Three of Pentacles. Somebody brought in a third party. The third party could be a fire sign or got fire highly aspected in a chart. But overall, the Queen of Wands is very a seductive, seducive, promiscuous person. Somebody went and after it's like somebody was tempted they did and they fucked up their whole family for something for something that didn't even last long you never know I feel like somebody fucked off a good thing and at the end of the day you could allow this person to come back in but it's some things you just can't let go of and somebody is at the end of the road you got new love coming in or overall just you getting back to yourself and loving on yourself with the ace of cups this speaks of new love and you loving on yourself at the end of the day and you looking damn good loving on yourself. That attracts new love for you. And then boom, Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. You can't make nothing up like this, Pisces. Wherever you heading is better than what you've been with. Oof. Show me more on the Ten of Wands. Who is in this Ten of Wands energy? Still I can't let go. Somebody still can't let go. It's unnatural. You belong to me. Mm, 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 that's some crazy shit. Uh, Ten of Wands is clarified here with the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's hard to choose. Show me more. Show me more. Ooh, wee. Three of Wands here and Strength. You're still in this like dream state or confusion state on what you really want to do with the Ten of Wands because the Seven of Cups is your energy. Knight of Cups is your energy as well, Pisces. But the Three of Wands and Strength here. Overall, you're going to handle it. Overall, you're going to nip it in the bud here. You're going to come up out of that confusion. Are they telling you it's best to love yourself? I just feel like the universe is backing up you leaving something behind. That's the bigger picture. It's a, There's no doubt about this connection here that was on fire, a soulmate connection. Somebody portrayed 
this connection. Somebody stepped out. This could be a marriage. This could be a long-term commitment, whatever it is. Due to somebody's addiction here and their uncontrollable de desires here, they brought in somebody else. They started stepping out with somebody else. And that was the portrayal, but that was the end of the road. At the end, Spirit Angels, um, advice for Pisces in this situation. Damn, Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Four of Swords here. Um, four of Swords here, the Tower and the High Priestess. They want you to get as much rest as you can. Um, something here could be coming to you in your dream state. Like, say if you're into tarot, everything is going to be coming to you when you sleep, okay? But they want you to prepare yourself because there's some things that you're still unaware of with this High Priestess being in reverse position. They want you to pay attention because there's something that you're unaware of, but it's getting ready to come out. Also, stop doubting your intuition, too, with this here being in reverse position. But overall, it was clarifying the Tower. Everything that was hidden, okay, or that them secrets that somebody has been keeping to themselves it's in reverse it's all getting ready to come out and for some of you half of the shit is gonna hit you when you sleep pay attention to your dreams make sure that your into when you listening to your intuition and you following that good instinct that women have now masculine if this is you that you're a masculine pay attention you also have that instinct okay it's, it's all about you staying firm and being true to what you believe in stand on business the high priestess is in reverse position for your advice okay with the tower whether you like it or not pisces some shit is about to explode some shit is about to hit the fan okay if it ain't yet it it, it, it are if it ain't yet with this six of cups okay you go seeking you will definitely find you cannot make this up it just keeps getting it, you will definitely find the portrayal that you're looking for if you go seeking they're telling you they're telling you to uh, hold it down, allow shit, this too shall pass. Let's just say that. I'm leaving it there, Pisces. With that being said, I hope this helped you. I hope you got some type of clarity. If you're seeking a personal reading where I just get all up into your business without nobody else knowing, feel free to reach out to me. My website is down below. You can, you're can you more than happy to book a session with me. I'm waiting on you, okay? I love you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, y'all. Peace.